What a beautiful view. This is so welcoming. This is all inside. That's all inside the post office property. You guys see that? Now, isn't that nasty? So, so I just wanted to show you guys what my local post office is all about. What they do, how they take care of their business, and how they do not follow pandemic regulations. They're currently inside the um, post office to find out um, why we haven't received any mail in a week. Today will be one week. So, so it's open for box customers only. I know if I go to the other side, they're gonna tell me to come this way. So, let me ring it again. They need to open another post office closer to home. This is ridiculous. I had no luck, so. What I'm trying to do is figure out a way to get my mail. So what time do they open? I don't even have a time. Let me ask the people outside to see what time do they open and see what they say. What time do they open? Uh, it's not 8.30 yet? It should be now. Yeah. It's 8.30, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's four people at a time. So we reached our max. We have to wait out here. Okay, so she's out. No, she's not. Okay. okay, so they have their signs with the limit of amount of people due to COVID and not stand in the doorway. Pay attention to the clerks behind the window. Yes, um, I mean, I'm here because we haven't been getting any mail for a week. Okay, so that's the other side. Okay, I've been ringing that bell and nobody ever comes. You gotta give him time, bro. Where is his mask? Okay. Just open at 8.30 give him time. Well, it's past 8.30. Yeah, I know. I need one of the $140. dollars So, we'll see. No standing in doorway. And yeah, right. Excuse me. This is what happens at my local post office. This is the third time. Let's do it. This side does not have a sign stating how many people can be inside while waiting for the clerk from this window. Hi. Hi. I'm here because we haven't been receiving any mail for a week. Okay. What's your, what's your... Okay. Get it. Last Saturday, um, we didn't receive any mail. What's your address? She asked me twice for my address. Why is she wearing her face mask like that?
I need some coffee. I had to cut out a lot of the waiting time. Waiting. Yes, I do. Is there a reason why it hasn't been delivered? Uh, I'm not sure. I know your carrier is not here. Yesterday I saw CCA at 7 p.m. She said she had Thursday's and yesterday's mail with her that she was going to deliver and she never delivered. Because um, the new law for um, the new law with this postmaster is they cut our hours so they they cut they stop delivering mail at a certain time what time is that eight o'clock there were people out there after 8 30. Oh. well i'm just the clerk okay i can only give you the information that i know okay thank you um, everything she said was bs uh let me see what mail did they give me i'm still missing mail no we're still missing mail this is yesterday's mail <clears throat> I'm still missing mail, so I'm going to go back and tell her. This is why informed delivery is good. You know what you should be expecting and on what days. Why do people wear their mask like that? Why even bother wearing one? So everyone that's ha that has missing mail or packages, they are being told that their carrier is out and that's why they're not getting them their mail. That's why they have CCAs to cover for the regulars. And if they're understaffed, they sure have a problem because the district has no openings. Every other district does except this one. I'm still missing mail. Okay. Saturdays and Tuesdays. Okay, so today is Saturday. Last week, Saturday. The mail carrier has been there. I'm missing mail. Okay, so so how can uh, we go? So about you're gonna that? receive it today. It's From last week, Saturday. It's gonna be delivered today. I'm not sure what exactly you're looking for. Okay, well if I if I don't get my mail, my missing mail, today's gonna be one week. I'm going to report it to OIG. Okay. Okay. They did deliver sat today's mail, which was Saturday, but they did not deliver my missing mail. And look at the carrier that's standing behind her with no mask. For her to say that she doesn't know what I'm looking for, really? I'm looking for my missing mail. This location will greatly benefit from the bailout money that was approved to the post office. They need an extreme makeover, both inside and out, as well as with employees. Now the post office can no longer say that they do not live off of taxpayers' money. John M. Marshall Station. Come on, guys. You guys could do better than this.